by the title of this video, you already know that this is a wig. I cut it like my own hair and I styled it and everything. Nobody commented at all. Maybe some people were just like, no, I don't see anything. Um, but yeah, this is a wig and it's by VP Fashion and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Also how I got this color because whew, silver, white, and gray, so beautiful. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said already, this wig is from VP Fashion, the usual hair peeps that I get it from, so the quality of hair is the same. Um, I am going to be talking about the quality, the comfort, my plans with it, how I got this color, and how I styled it, and also they have a Black Friday sale going on as well. The Black Friday sale that they are doing, all the information will be down below, also right here. Here is a code, they always do stuff for Black Friday, and Black Friday is like the best time to get anything so definitely go check it out now let's talk about the quality the quality hair is good it's wonderful it's the same quality that i always have for all my extensions um and the cut that they give you for the wig and the color is consistent throughout all of it um they do like feather and thread out the ends for it so you don't really have to cut the wig right when you get it um, mattering on the style that you want. I clearly cut it mine because I wanted it to be like my actual hair. Um, so I cut the front right here, the bangs, and some of the side. But mostly down here it was already feathered so it looks really good and I got hair on the back. All of the grams and size and all that will be down below, but I'm so happy with this wig. I can't believe, like, nobody noticed that I was wearing a wig. It was crazy. I was like, did I do good for my first wig? Huh. I also have a wig cap on, so I can't feel the lace at all. It's not itchy. Um, even on my ears, even though my ears are very, very sensitive, I don't feel them really on it. It's not itchy. Um, yeah, it's like a custom wig. It's like sized to my head, so... Feels good, feels good. For comfort, it is very comfortable. I only have to brush it like right when I put it on and then that's it. Well, I brush it before I like put it on the wig mannequin head thing, um, but yeah, it doesn't get knotted at all. Like I don't have to worry about like, do I need to brush it throughout the day? Do I need to check for knots or anything? Like it just stays like smooth and silky throughout the day, so it's like, it's so awesome that I don't have to brush it, so that's like a definite pro. Also, I don't have to care about the wind really freaking out my hair, because whenever it was really windy, my hair would be like, like all over the place. But now, I don't have to worry about that. Um, washing is less. There's so many pros of having a wig. Ugh, and I hate that I like talked shit on wigs for so long because I was like, no, it's gonna be super itchy It's not gonna look like my hair. It's gonna be like this and that but oh my god I wish I was introduced into wigs like so much earlier like this is so easy. This is that easy peasy life It's amazing. Hopefully it looks good. I think it looks like my real hair I'm pretty sure it does because even when I look in the camera right now, I'm just like it looks like my hair, that, like most like my legit hair. Um, so yeah, the comfort is really good. It, I think it looks good personally for my first wig cut and everything. I think it looks pretty dang good. Now let's talk about my plans with this wig. This wig, I'm going to challenge myself. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know all the information that I get from this challenge. I'm gonna try to do a color rotation cycle to the point where I don't have to remove any color from this wig, which means absolutely no damage whatsoever. I'm just gonna be layering a color on. As you can see, my first color is white. And then I will pick most likely a pastel color, um, you know, kind of where I say in the warms, like the pinks and the reds, and then go into the cools, like the blues and all that. So I'm gonna keep on adding color so it's gonna be like normal so every month I'm probably gonna change my hair color I, mean, I just want to see how many colors I can overlap on this wig and see how long I can make it last because I do like changing my hair color so much and I don't want to get like a million wigs even though that would be awesome because then I can just um, boop, hair beanie <laughs> I need to stop calling it a hair beanie. Like, I don't know why, but I, Alex was like, what does it feel like? I'm like, it kind of just feels like a beanie, but like a hair beanie. <laughs> I keep on calling it a hair beanie. I don't know why. I don't want to stop, but I feel like I should stop. I keep on touching it because it's so nice. I don't know. 
I'm just so happy with it. I'm so happy that it doesn't get tangled and it's so easy. Let me tell you, wigs are worth it. Wigs are so fucking worth it. Enough about that. Let me go ahead and tell you guys how I got this color and some tips for having silver hair, making it look healthy because your hair probably is healthy. Um, but usually when your hair, like when it gets a little bit frizzy, like let's say it's humid outside or you just blow dry it, um, and it looks like the ends are a little bit frizzy. Easiest thing to do is just add some little oil to it and then it'll look even more healthy um, because a lot of people think that having silver or white hair means that your hair is unhealthy, but it's so, 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 so easy. The color of the wig that I had it was like a pale yellow and all I did was put shimmering lights shampoo in it. That's all I did. That's literally it. So I would just get the wig, get the purple shampoo, and just rub it in, and then wash it, and then I would look through all the hairs and see if there was any yellow pieces. If there was, I would get the shampoo again and just rub it on that yellow piece. Now, you want to be careful. Um, I didn't want it too silver or not that light. I wanted it just perfect, so I was just shampooing it, washing it, and then like making sure it was all the same color throughout. Um, if you want it like really, really silver, I would usually just like leave in the purple shampoo uh, for like a while, like maybe 10 minutes or just keep your eye on it. Um, but if you want like more of a lilac silver, um, I would just like <laughs> not even like rub the shampoo in, but just like, like kind of just lay it on top of the hair, kind of like dye. Like you're not like washing the hair really, you're kind of just like leaving the shampoo in. That's all that I did for the color of this hair, but cutting it, I cut it like how I usually cut my hair. I put my bangs in it. I did make them a little bit longer. I'm liking that look. Usually when you do a wig and you want to make it look super, super realistic, you will go for the part like right here and you'll just start plucking out like a little fake hairline and then putting your foundation and powder it and it looks like your scalp. But since my original haircut doesn't really like ever show <laughs> um, skin, I didn't have to do that, but if I ever do a middle part with this wig, I will probably show you guys how I will do that. Um, but there, there's no reason for me to really do that. Also for the front of this, um, there's lace, you can always cut it. Whoop. It's super easy. I also show in the video that I just simply like cut it. Um, some days, if I want to like show more of the scalp, um, I'll make sure that's perfectly placed on my forehead, but if not, like if I'm doing this, sometimes I just put like the leftover lace, like boop, like I just fold it right under, but I know I'm not supposed to cut too much of that. If you guys have any tips with wigs, I would love to know. I would love to know, because plenty of people in the comments uh, have had wigs, so I would love any of the tips, but that's what I do so far, and that's literally it. That's all I've done. This is like the first phase of this wig, so super easy, super so fucking simple and I'm really really loving it and I'm so happy that you guys like the silver hair as well. I'm gonna send you guys off to the rest. I know it's super short but this is so easy to do. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day and journey and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>
No, I know, but I don't know it's if like that's near her to... eyebrow. <laughs> I think this like, is look the at right this way. way. <laughs> she has it like on top of her eyebrows. I think this is supposed to go under the cap. Yeah. At least I didn't itch. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in. Yeah. It's in. This actually feels quite fucking sturdy. This looks crazy. This feels. It's, are you sure it's not just a visor? <laughs> Fitness! <laughs> it sure is hot while we're playing tennis in the courts today. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> <sighs> it's like pulling my eyebrows up. <laughs> Look at that face lift. <laughs> uh, this, is, <laughs> this is like really weird. How's it feel being a blonde? Dumb now. Oh. <laughs> Stay. Trying to get my feet back up in there. What you got? That's what she said. Yeah. Hey. <laughs>